ओके सो वॉट इज फ्यूरोसोमाइड स्ट्रेस टेस्ट सो एवरीबडी हु इज वर्किंग इन द आई सी यू मे हैव सीन दैट वी रिसीव पेशेंट्स ऑफ अक्यूट किडनी इंजरी और द पेशेंट स्टार्टेड डेवलपिंग अक्यूट किडनी इंजरी इन द आई सी यू एंड वी वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर दिस पेशेंट विल गेट मैनेज बाय फ्लूड एंड डायलिटिक्स एट द मोमेंट और वी वॉन्ट टू टेक दिस पेशेंट ऑन डायलिसिस वेरी सून दिस विल नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड टू फ्लूड और वेस्ट प्रोसेस फॉर दैट मैटर सो वॉट विल डू इज विल गिव a uh, furosemide means diuretic challenge to this patient as an iv bolus and will watch for the urine output after 2 hours how much is the urine so based on that how much amount the urine the patient has passed we get to know that this patient may be managed right now with uh, fluid and diuretics or this patient will require renal replacement therapy very soon he, he or she is uh, urine output will not improve that much with fluid and diuretic so in that what what is the principle we give a particular amount of uh, furosemide uh, bolus to the patient and we watch after 2 hours the urine output so how much uh, furosemide we need to give that depends whether the patient has previously taken furosemide or was on diuretics or the patient is new to furosemide so, so if the patient has not exposed to before diuretics or not taking any furosemide for that matter you will give 1 mg per kg body weight uh, furosemide to this patient as bolus so suppose it's 60 kg patient so we will give uh, 1 mg per kg body weight so 60 mg of furosemide as a bolus and we'll watch for the urine output after 2 hours if the patient was previously on diuretics or furosemide we need to give 1.5 mg per kg of uh, furosemide to this patient so for 60 mg 60 kg patient we'll give 90 mg of furosemide as iv bolus so this we have given the iv bolus of furosemide now after end of 2 hours after 2 hours if the urine output is more than 200 ml that means furosemide stress test fst is positive this patients can be managed by fluid or diuretic right now aki may worsen your creatinines may go up your urea may go up but he or she will be responsive to the oliguria may be responsive to the diuretic and fluid and we can manage for some time the need for rrt renal replacement therapy may get delayed in this patient but if the urine output after furosemide challenge is less than 200 ml per 200 total 200 ml in those 2 hours so that means the patient will not respond to diuretics of furosemide and even in spite of giving fluid and vasopressors the urine output is not going to improve too much and this patient will require dialysis very soon so give a furosemide bolus depending on whether the patient was a previously on diuretic or not diuretic and after 2 hours see the urine output if the total urine output is more than 200 ml per hour will respond to fluid and vasopressors or diuretics if it is less than 200 ml that means the patient will require dialysis very soon so this is the basic principle regarding furosemide stress test it's very interesting do read more about it and see in your icus which patients fits in this category it's very interesting thank you